Hey guys, in this video I want to do a quick little review of Android 6.0 Pen 1 Marshmallow ROM for Samsung Galaxy S4. This is uh, CyanogenMod 13 based CR Droid ROM. Uh, they are really nice uh, developers, they have a nice reputation. So, um, like always, I'll make two videos. One will be the review that you are watching right now and one will be the tutorial video. So, uh, this comes with Android 6.0.1. Uh, if we go into main settings, scroll down to about phone section, you can see Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. It's pretty nice actually. I mean, if we compare uh, the S4 to S3, S4, uh, to the S4, S3 and... Okay, if we compare S4 to S3 and S4, 5 and S6, you know, this CM13 ROM, we get the most features for the S4 uh, because this is not just a normal CM13 ROM, it's a CR Droid ROM, okay? So it's based on CM13, but they have their own uh, tweaks and uh, nice tricks here and there. So, first of all, if we take a look here at the, um, let's see here, let's start from the lock screen here. Okay, so this is how the lock screen looks like. You can unlock the phone, you can go here into the Google Now section and then you can launch the camera here. And uh, of course, camera is working absolutely fine. You can take a quick pictures, picture here with flash. No problem whatsoever. Then also you can uh, go ahead and switch to video mode. You can notice here that I'm having this older Google camera app. I'm pretty sure that you can upgrade it uh, via Play Store. So let's see here if we go into the gallery. Of course, it's, it's showing me my old pictures. So, okay, that was a weird picture, but that wasn't me actually. But <laughs> let's see here. Um, if we talk about this ROM, of course, first of all, if you unlock it, you get this nice clean home screen stock like home screen of course holding down will give you uh, these three options you can change the wallpaper you can also mess up with the widgets and you can go into settings um, where you can also allow rotation which means that you can rotate while your phone is on home screen section you can see here pretty nice pretty nice it also rotates the um, the app drawer also so also the search bars is pretty nice if you use phone like this uh, while using it on table like I use so definitely it will be a, a nice feature for you and also you can see here if I hold again uh, all the settings also in the root um, in the horizontal mode here uh, landscape mode so if we swipe up you can see here we can change the drawer style uh, you can also change the dark uh, drawer color from dark to light light will be similar to uh, what the current marshmallow has so I like to have the darker color let's see here okay I'm just gonna have it in the landscape mode okay so uh, going into settings again um, allow rotation you can swipe up and have the dark you can also enable fast scroll which will help it to be more fluid and large icons if you want the icons to be a little bit bigger and you can also mess up with the um, icon labels you can also hide them so ton of different tweaks here that we have regarding the um, regarding the app drawer now of course if you don't like this way of the app drawer like scrolling vertically you can also change it uh, to the previous uh, way that we have uh, on in you know normal other Android phones um, let me just show you here let's see here if we swipe up we got the option for let's see search bar you can also hide the search bar drawer style now you can change the style from sections to compact which means that you will get the apps this way some people like the apps this way so you can also have this uh, this way uh, of um, you know seeing your apps but you're gonna have the other way which is the section way uh, you can also see there uh, see that the, no matter which way you look at uh, these apps compact or section you can scroll you can only scroll uh, vertically and also we have this nice alphabets here uh, which if you check out there if I have it on M it highlights messaging and then uh, if I have it on uh, the uh, C it highlights calculator you know all the apps that have C uh, start with C so it's just an alphabetic search 
thing here at the bottom. Now you can see here if I hold down the um, home key we have the multitasking area where you can close app applications. So let's just see here if we take a look at the quick settings here that we have. Now you can also quickly edit the tiles here right uh, from the front of the quick settings here without going into main settings so that's pretty nice. Uh, going into the main settings you can see everything is pretty much similar um, from the top here. Um, let's see here, nothing very nice or interesting in the more section. Android Beam, um, NFC, you have to disable that for conserving the battery. Okay, so we get the extra CR Droid options here on top of Synergy Mod 13 like I told you. First of all, we got the buttons option. Of course, you can uh, enable the um, different type of actions using these buttons. Like for example, double tapping the power, uh, the home key, double tapping the power key. So you can uh, you can insert any custom actions. For example, first of all, we have the enable on-screen nav bar. If you enable it, you get these on-screen touch keys here. Um, if you like these um, uh, these. Um, on screen buttons then definitely this is a nice option for you and if you enable it you also have the option to uh, adjust its height and width um, going back here you can see it has small bugs I'm pressing the back key and t it took some time uh, for the phone to respond so it has some uh, small bugs of course standard 6.0.1 um, based on Sandra Mod 13 so of course it's a nightly but you will definitely going to see some updates if you install any of the version of this from so power menu options here you can have the reboot menu screenshot um, pretty nice going back again uh, we also have here the option to wake up the device with the home button you can also uh, set up any custom action for example double tap action now if you remember on um, on Samsung TouchViz UI we get quick launch now basically if you miss that feature you can also add this on the on this Sanjay Mod 13 ROM by having the double tap action set to launch camera if you double tap it it will go into launch the camera so it's pretty nice uh, let's go ahead and check out some other stuff here Okay, reorient. You can swipe the volume buttons when the screen is rotated, of course. Uh, ton of tweaks there. Recent panel. You can enable this nice RAM memory bar option here, uh, which will give you your RAM when you go here to the multitasking area, free RAM. So it's pretty nice. And also, uh, this ROM also comes with a feature where you can double tap the power button to launch the camera. So that's the feature that we have here from the Nexus 6P and the Nexus 5X. Also, we have status bar option where you can mess around with the uh, battery percentage, time, and all that. You can also, let's see here, you can also double tap here to sleep. No, it's not enabled, I think. You can also enable CR Droid logo here, top left corner. It's like a Illuminati eye, I don't know, but I'm just gonna disable it. So, uh, it was a joke, okay? They're not Illuminati. They're pretty nice. They're nice enough to make this ROM for us. So, let's go here to screen and animation. You can also have your animations. Let's see here. Ton of animations here. It shows a little bit preview there, so. Let's go ahead and check out some more options. Sounds, normal Android options, nothing that much interesting. Uh, display and light. Uh, okay, double tap to wake. All right, let's see. If your phone is locked, you double tap on the screen. Okay, it's not working. Let's see here. It says double tap on the status bar. No, okay, this one. Tap to wake up, double tap anywhere on the screen to wake the device. Let's see, this works fine. Double tap on the status bar to sleep, but when the device is asleep, you can't wake it by double tap. So you can see here, it's a bug, maybe it will work if I restart the phone, but you can expect these small bugs. Of course, they will be improved. So, battery light. You can change the light to red, to blue, and all that. And also font size. Then again, we get this awesome theme option with Sanjay Mod 13. There are a lot of free themes on the Play Store that you can get um, as long as they are compatible with the 
with these CM13 um, lock screen options, lock screen message. You can also have your custom lock screen shortcuts, for example. Let's see here, you can select any of your downloaded application. I mean, any application, there is no restriction whatsoever. You can have Facebook there, Twitter on the right side. Damn awesome stuff here. Gestures, we also have gestures for the Galaxy S4. Um, we have a nice feature here called as proximity wake that I also saw on my Galaxy S5. So if we enable it, let's see here if we can wake the phone using proximity sensor. So, okay. Let's see here, let's try one more time. Okay. Oh, it worked. Wow, it worked. So, it does work. This option here, proximity wake. You can wake up your device using your hand, waving your hand. So, yeah, that is pretty damn awesome. Also have this hand wave option, pulse notification. Okay, you can enable one of these. But uh, it's working fine. Battery option. We have the warning color. Enable orange status and navigation bar, of course, that's the battery saving option that we have. Um, you can see here we get the default battery saver with this uh, ROM. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yes, that is the CR Drive ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S4. As always, for the installation, please check out my channel and I will be putting the link down below in the description box also. So yeah, uh, it's pretty easy to install it. It's worth it. I've been having some excellent time with this ROM. A pretty interesting battery life also here so far. I mean, I am just, I, you know, when I installed it, it had like 80% battery and then it was on some standby time. Then I was messing around with the options and all that. And I did this video and you can see here it's 67, now it's 66%. So looking pretty promising to me. So if you have the Galaxy S4 and if you are on Lollipop, and if you are tired of Samsung UI, just root it and install this one. Follow my tutorial, it's pretty easy. And taste marshmallow with CR Droid. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for daily tech videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.